This video will show you how to prepare and take an ABG sample. To start, wipe your tray with a Clonel wipe. Then wash your hands using the seven steps of hand hygiene. Put on a pair of non-sterile gloves. Then gather the equipment you will need for your tray. You'll need an ampoule of lidocaine. Check the label to make sure it is in date. Snap off the top and then take a 1mm or a 2mm syringe, an orange subcut needle and a filter needle. Open the back of these packets. Attach the filter needle to the syringe and draw up around 0.5 millilitres of lidocaine. Throw away the filter needle immediately in the sharp spin. Then attach the syringe to the orange subcut needle and leave in the packet. Label it and put it into your tray. Keep the lidocaine ampule in a plastic tub in your tray for confirming at the bedside. Take an ABG syringe and a blue needle and open the back of the packets. Keep the top of the ABG syringe in the packet and connect the syringe itself to the blue needle and then put it in your tray. Add gauze and a piece of tape. Finally, put a chlorhexine wipe and a pair of non-sterile gloves in your tray. Move aside your waist and remove your gloves using the pinch-pull technique. Wash your hands using the seven steps of hand hygiene. At the patient bedside, you need to wash your hands again before putting on a fresh pair of non-sterile gloves. Check the patient's name and date of birth. You may then be asked to describe a modified Allen's test. Ask the patient to clench their fist and then include the radial and ulnar pulses. Get them to relax their fist, then release the ulnar pulse. The hand should refill with blood. Then release both pulses and get the patient to clench their fist again. Occlude both pulses again and ask the patient to relax their hand. 
then release the radial pulse and again the hand should refill with blood. This shows that the patient has a collateral arterial supply to their hand. You may proceed to take an ABG. Start by loosening the needle caps on both of your needles. Then prepare your chlorhexidine wipe. Palpate the radial pulse with your second, third and fourth fingers of your non-dominant hand. When you're confident you're over the pulse, release your second finger and wipe the skin. Take your lidocaine syringe and insert it where you felt the pulse, with the needle tip just under the skin. Then administer the lidocaine. Cap your needle and put it in the sharp spin immediately. Take your ABG syringe and insert it at a 45 degree angle, inserting firmly until the syringe starts to fill with blood. It should fill by itself, however you can draw back against the syringe if it does not. Release your left hand and apply pressure to the area with gauze immediately after removing the needle. Pressure should be applied firmly for five minutes, but the examiner will likely tell you to stop before then. Cap the needle and put it straight into the sharp spin. Put your syringe into your pack until you've taped down the gauze. Then attach the top of the syringe and fill it up with blood, then replace it back in your tray. Remove your waist and then remove your gloves using the pinch-pull technique. Wash your hands using the seven steps of hand hygiene.